Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week of... Oh no, this is for mid-August uh, 2024. Uh, you have this Divine Infinity card. It says, challenge yourself to go beyond your limitations and you'll find infinity. You have this Metamorphosis card. It says, your inner self is being renewed day by day, so new and better ways can come forth. So you are going through a deep change here, Gemini. And let's see what this change is about. That's crazy. <laughs> you have... You know, sometimes I look at the Hierophant and the Devil as the Angel and the Devil, even though technically uh, Temperance is would be the Angel and the Devil. Um, but I kind of feel that some of you are, you know, getting rid of bad habits. You know, almost every single person this week has had the Devil. And so I'm wondering if there's just like a collective energy about um, removing toxic things from our lives. Or, you know, again, I, I think maybe people are just naturally... Uh, doing that at this time and you could be very focused on doing that yourself as well uh, so you could just be getting rid of things that that steal your energy or that are toxic or um, you know that get in the way of your life or whatever and you know obviously that would probably uh, be a good thing for you to be doing right now Gemini uh, but you have the uh, Hierophant and the Hierophant is like the spiritual teacher in the deck so a lot of you could be downloading a lot of like spiritual ideas and you even have this card that says angelic help coming up in your third row it says your angels are blessing you with new opportunities and i kind of like again i get i get a very angelic feeling on this hierophant for whatever reason so even though the hierophant technically isn't an angel uh, again i read intuitively and that's what's popping into my head so there you go i literally said it before i even saw that card uh you have the hermit the hermit, um, a lot of people have had the hermit as well, which is pretty weird. Um, but, you know, I, I do feel that we are, we have all been kind of like on a very long journey. And now it's time to come down from the mountain. You know, the whole point of the hermit is that he's been through a dark night of the soul. He climbed up one side of the mountain and now he needs to, he needs to not stay stuck at the top of the mountain. He needs to come down from the mountain and share what he has learned. It's like, kind of like you'll hear like a lot of spiritual people sometimes it's like they get kind of jaded with the world or they want to avoid the world because they understand spirituality so they want to kind of run away to spirit but it's like maybe um you know it's time for you to bring spirit to the world and i think for a lot of you uh this is about kind of like not running away and hiding but um you know i'm not saying you're hiding but you know again it's like i feel it's time for you to shine your inner light with you know he has this lantern here and he has a star in the lantern but it's like trapped in the lantern he needs to let his star kind of shine and that's what i feel for you uh, you have the devil. Um, like I said, I don't know. I think this is just a collective thing. I think everybody could be, um, you know, getting rid of bad habits or focusing on their bad habits. We see a lot of stuff in the astrology as well that kind of says people are really getting rid of their bad habits right now or, um, you know, people could be more focused on getting rid of things that drag them down. So it doesn't really surprise me that the devil has come up so much. And yeah, it just is what it is. Uh, with the Hierophant, you have the Ace of Cups here. Yeah, there could be a new love offer coming in for you. Again, um, you know, we don't see a ton of love in this first part of the reading, but what I would say is I do feel like it is, a, you know, a good time for love. Um, even though it's a Mercury retrograde, doesn't matter. And I would say that you could be talking to a person or there could be a, kind of like an offer that's available, available for you. You know, the Two of Swords would say you have to turn around and see it. So with the Two of Swords, something like this, like a layout like this, Ace of Cups, Two of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, it's like she has to take her blindfold off. And she also needs to believe that there is another way to do things. She's thinking she's protecting her heart and, you know, she has a sword crossed over her heart um, and she's trying to protect herself because she thinks love is either this or that. But there's a new island behind her which says, no, love can be different or it can be it can be something different and I feel a lot of you um, are maybe either realizing or need to realize that things can be different than what you've experienced uh, with the hermit you have to come down from the mountain eight of swords eight of swords is self-imposed restriction so again no holding yourself back at this time um, this is why I really encourage people to like really get started right now on whatever they want to do even though it's mercury retrograde I don't care I would still do it yes you will make mistakes but uh, again we're not in school anymore so mistakes don't matter and also mistakes are a good thing because you will learn through those mistakes again we can only really learn the good stuff by making a mistake so who cares yes you'll make mistakes just don't give up you know keep pushing forward is what i would say uh with the devil you have the ace of swords conquering the devil whenever i have 
the devil with the ace of swords to me it represents like chopping the devil's head off so a lot of you are clearly clearing out bad habits or uh, toxic influences or whatever the case may be and this is going to lead to a victory the other thing is we have three aces so one two three so far uh, a bunch of aces you know in a reading represents a new beginning uh, two aces or more is also a definite yes to any question that I haven't answered so yes to answer your question uh, next in the area of um, what's coming in for you, you have this rain card and you also have this magnetism card. It says attraction on it. So I think that you are in, a, you know, we are in a time of heightened manifestation and you have the queen of wands as your first card. So the queen of wands, uh, she really attracts things by going for it. And she also listens to her inner voice. She has this sunflower right here and the sunflower points towards the sun. So that is how she gets what she wants is she follows her bliss. She follows her joy or whatever makes her happy. I, you know, this comes up for a lot of people over the last two years. And again, I really feel that we are in a time where that's, that's the challenge for everyone. I literally said this uh, the other day. I think I, I can't remember what, which podcast I was on <laughs> when I said this, but I was on somebody's podcast and we were talking all about like the queen of wands. And I was saying something about how you know, really we're in this time where um, like the challenge is logical real world versus what your heart is telling you to do. And it's like the real, the problem is, is like the 3D real world. It's like, we still have bills. We still have things that we have to pay for. But it's like, if you want to become a unicorn breeder, it's like, and that is like what your heart is telling you to do. It's like, how the hell is that even possible in the first place? Right. And, but maybe it is, maybe you just haven't figured it out yet. So the queen of wands, and that was obviously a ridiculous example. Um, but you know, the queen of wands is all about figuring out how to make what you want to you truly truly want to do in your life how to make it possible and again there's never been a better time right there are no more gatekeepers you can start a youtube channel about whatever the hell you want and become famous there's like a guy i talk about worm farming because there's like a guy who has a worm farming channel and he has a ton of subs he probably makes a fortune right so if you know and there, there are other more ridiculous youtube channel examples right so you know again you can do whatever you want and become successful if you get started and i think that's what the queen of wands is saying uh, you have the Two of Swords. Yeah, I really get that feeling of needing to believe that something can be different, you know, or needing that not needing to believe that not everything is the same. You know, the other the other really funny thing about this is that um, you know I think the world is reflecting to you like other possibilities. It's like maybe you believe that love is one way, but maybe the world is showing you a couple of examples. Like maybe you have a friend who's like totally in love with the person they're with, and maybe it kind of is making you believe that love is possible. Um, maybe you have a friend who has who is a dummy who is very successful in business and you're like you know this person can't even put on the same colored sock they wear two different color socks um if they can do it i can do it right and so i kind of get that feeling on the two of swords which really that would be the star card you know the star card she's pouring water onto land and it represents what's possible for one person is possible for you um but i kind of feel I get that feeling on the Two of Swords that it's like something is being presented to you um, or there are reflections that are showing you that something is possible and I think you just need to believe it's possible. Uh, you have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, we're in an amazing time for showing off. <laughs> so Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work. If you do a good job at doing whatever it is that you do every single day, the Three of Pentacles says show off, you know, show the world what you're made of and you never know what it could lead to. You know, this could be in work or business. It could be you starting a business. It could be you, you know, working on a project. It doesn't really matter what it is, but I do think that it is definitely time for you to get started or, you know, it's time for you to present something. Let's see. Uh, with the Queen of Wands, you have the King of Pentacles here. Uh, King of Pentacles is about building wealth and abundance. So I think a lot of you uh, are moving towards that with the Queen of Wands energy. Uh, you could also be attracting a King of Pentacles type person. And so if you are looking for love, you know, you know what's really funny is I, I kind of feel like you are attracting a person who's like a rock, you know. Um, so, you know, it's like even if you are like emotionally going off, I feel like this person is immovable. <laughs> so, again, you could be attracting someone who's a little bit stubborn, not in a bad way, probably in a good way, and also a person who is immovable. Uh, you know, and actually, I think sometimes a person who is immovable uh, can be a very attractive trait as long as they're doing it in the right way. Again, there, it's, it's like one thing to be annoyingly stubborn. I don't think that's not what I'm picking up on here. I'm just picking up on like this person cannot be affected by thing, ex external forces, you know? And so they're like a rock, right? Like a very stable, secure person is what I'm getting. Definitely could be an earth sign for sure. Um, 
and you you have a lot of earth here or it could just be a person who happens to have a lot of earth in their chart uh, i always feel fire for you you don't have any fire in this reading except for the strength card but again regardless of what they are i think they are immovable uh, with the two of swords here you go i knew that two of swords was talking about love for whatever reason probably because of this and also this although you have three of swords in the area of the good stuff and the three of swords and the good stuff would say you're healing from a heartbreak or you're, you have overcome a heartbreak uh, but going to the five of pentacles and having the two of swords you know it kind of says to me that you think um love is one way you know and really there are other ways that you can have love and i feel the page of cups could be saying that uh even if you don't want love like if you want to start a business or a career two of swords could say that you've had too many experiences where you know your career or your business has been the same and i feel like the page of cups you know the page of cups is your dream so if you don't want love and even even if you do want love you know he has this fish in the cup and that fish might not exist we don't actually know it might be part of his imagination and I always say with the, the Page of Cups, we have to ca capture that fish and we have to bring it to earth. It's something that could bring us abundance. And I feel a lot of you, it could be like your dream. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles, you have two cards here. You have the Six of Cups and the Nine of Swords. A uh, Six of Cups can be thinking about the past. The Nine of Swords can be the fears of repeating the past. So again, there are some fears that um, you know something is just going to repeat from the past and I would let those fears go uh, six of cups you know can represent a new soulmate as well it's not just the past so I do feel some of you are attracting like a new soulmate uh, next in the area of messages from your future self you have this teacher card hierophant is the teacher it says teach what you know even if you're not an expert it also says you have the ability to help others uncover their true potential so that might apply to some of you you have this angelic help card it says your angels are blessing you with new opportunities your angels are assisting you no you will be provided for so there you go you know i kind of also feel some of you are in a position where you're worried that you're never going to have something you know it's like i think as we get older you know sometimes if we don't have like love or if we don't have money we start to believe that it's never going to happen and i do feel like some of you are feeling that way like oh this is never going to happen i'm never going to get what i want and i feel this is saying like no you are being led uh, to what you want uh, you have the Five of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Ace of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is about being feeling left out in the cold. And again, that's where I kind of get that feeling that some of you might be saying to yourself, like, oh, I'm never going to have what I want. I'm never going to you know, have these experiences that I desire. But I feel like it's not true. The Five of Pentacles has a very easy solution, which says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. Call it, you know, only focus on your strengths. If you double down on your strengths, uh, then you can easily overcome the Five of Pentacles. Uh, you have the Strength card right here. So you have clearly learned how to be strong. The Strength card is a display of strength. She is getting this lion to submit to her, and the lion represents her inner voice, her inner critic, her inner demons. And I feel a lot of you have learned how to kind of tame your inner voice. Or, you know, again, this is messages from your future self. So maybe this is something that you're working on right now. Uh, but I would keep doing it because the more strong you become, the more likely uh, this victory right here is. And I think you're developing a lot of strength. You have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles could be like an offer or an opportunity. I always say that the Ace of Pentacles just represents potential. We have to really like this is like a seed you know we have to water it fertilize it feed it give it sunlight so if you're getting a big opportunity at this time which i feel you know there could be an opportunity big opportunity coming in for you you're really going to want to nurture it and again three aces it's going to be a new beginning uh, with the five of pentacles you have the nine of wands yeah definitely don't give up on love again for those of you that want love i think this is saying don't give up nine of wands is about trying one more time and you know the nine of wands it really is a card of perseverance uh, you know, for in all areas of your life, the Nine of Wands is my card of experimentation. You know, it's my card of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. So I think for a lot of you, it could be a really good time for you to experiment, try new things, do new things, all that stuff. Uh, with the Strength card, you have the Empress here, and the Empress is about total abund abundance. You could be kind of having a little bit of a glow up here. Um, I, I wouldn't really call this a glow up reading. Like, I need to see, like, the star, the sun, you know, something else as well but you know with the strength card it definitely says that your strength could be uh, contributing to having a glow up maybe not right now but in the future or you could this could be something that you are progressing on your glow up right so i would keep uh, keep glowing up right i would keep developing the glow up or whatever you know whatever you want to call it so it's like maybe you're not exactly where you want to be yet but you're getting there uh, with the ace of swords here you go um the, the you have I mean, sorry the ace of pentacles you have the king of swords King of Swords is immovable. And that's the word I was getting. 
on that king of pentacles so it could be another air sign who has earth in their chart or an earth sign who has a bunch of air in their chart you know something like that that you're attracting a king of swords would be like very mature has a lot of wisdom you know could be someone who's older than you if you're looking for love uh, if you're not looking for love and again even if you are um the king of swords could be like a boss a mentor something like that making you an offer so if you're looking for a job this is amazing you know could be a you getting the job offer you desire or someone could be offering you something that has a lot of potential to grow and the ace of pentacles again just represents potential so i would uh, take this and run with it whatever it is uh, in the area of the good stuff, you have this Hands of Fate card. It says, forces beyond your control intervene. Angelic help. You have the, I was saying, the angel thing on the Hierophant. You have this Golem card. It says, a close friend acts on your behalf. So you could be being protected by your friends. But, you know, clearly there is like a fated event that, that could be happening for you. I kind of feel that it is an opportunity to move in a new direction because of the Ace of Pentacles. Plus, you have this Chariot. The chariot is leaving the city behind and behind, and he is setting himself apart. So the chariot really, it, you know, it's a victory. It represents willpower. It says where there's a will, there's a way. It's a card of a, a success as well. But really, the true meaning of the chariot is that he's setting himself apart. He is leaving what he has always known, that city. But everything is the same in that city. So he's looking for something different. He's looking to set himself up in a different way, or he's looking for a place that has different rules, right? And I think that that's really what this is talking about in your reading is that you're ready just to experience a different way of life and this could be in any area of your life for some of you it's clearly love like you're looking for a different type of person or a different experience and i feel the chariot is just highlighting different experiences in your life uh, you have the three of swords again three of swords and the good stuff could represent healing resting and relaxing or overcoming a heartbreak three of swords is also about forgiveness so we have to remove those swords from our own heart and forgive ourselves for something from the past so that we can move past it and have a better experience in the future. And that's kind of what I feel with the Three of Swords is that you're healing. Uh, you also have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords in the good stuff would represent a quick or a rapid change. And I kind of feel that's what the Chariot is saying as well. Is like there are rapid uh, changes happening for you uh, at this time. You have the Knight of Pentacles with the Chariot. Uh, Knight of Pentacles would represent progress or making progress in the good stuff. So normally the Knight of Pentacles is no progress. He is the only knight in the tarot that isn't making any moves. But if things have been slow for you, Gemini, then I think things are finally speeding up. You know, it's like you're finally making progress, finally moving forward. Uh, with the Three of Swords, you have the Two of Pentacles. Uh, two of Pentacles, work hard, play hard. Um, you know, the, kind of the interesting thing is you have the Two of Swords only seeing two ways of doing things. The Two of Pentacles is variety. You know, it kind of, he is normally spinning a bunch of plates, you know, or it is a card of spinning plates and, and doing a lot of different things. Uh, normally I say like work hard, play hard, but coming up in the good stuff, this could say that you are just in this position of life where you are exploring. You're looking for new experiences. Like I said, you're looking for something that is different. And that's, I, I kind of feel like if you're looking for something different, you're gonna find it, uh, whatever it is, love, business, career. Uh, your job, um, you know, it doesn't really matter. I think you're finding something unique. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, you have the Page of Wands. Uh, Page of Wands is about going on the adventure. So the Page of Wands, he follows his enthusiasm. And we have the Queen of Wands up here. She listens to the Sunflower, right? She moves towards things that make her feel joyful, that make her feel happy. She moves towards her inspirations as well. And I think the Page of Wands is saying the same thing. Uh, you have this funnel card says period of frustration lessons to be learned i think this is what you are leaving behind in the past i definitely feel you have experienced a period of frustration or you know you've had to learn a lot of lessons hierophant as your first card right the hierophant is you know can be a stern teacher you know and so you've had to learn a lot of lessons through life uh, you have this hills card it says obstacles to overcome they're hills, they're not mountains. Life isn't perfect, right? We will always have to overcome something. And I feel like this hills card is saying, you know, don't allow resistance to stop you. You know, you will always experience resist resistance in life. That's how we become stronger. It's like, obviously, if you don't lift weights, you're not gonna get stronger. This is just lifting the weights of life so that you can, you know, overcome challenges or whatever. Uh, you have this key card. It says successful outcome to your problems. There you go. So if you are dealing with any problems or challenges i think that you have the keys necessary to overcome these problems you also have this other card that said a close friend acts on your your behalf and i am getting here on this card that again there could be friends or people in your life that can really help you or help guide you and i would you know tap into their abilities or their help 
Uh, you have this quill card that says get back to basics. Yeah, I would keep things simple. Don't overcomplicate things, right? Sometimes even like when we get into a good relationship that's actually good, it's good and we think like no way that this is that simple, right? No way can this be that easy. So then we start creating problems. And I think the quill card is saying if something is simple and if the evidence shows you that it's simple, then keep going. Don't, you know, don't overcomplicate something that doesn't need to be overcomplicated. And finally, you have this tower card. It says solid foundation, success with effort. So the whole entire reading basically says that you are going to be finding a lot of success through the effort that you put into things. I think you're building um, like a new life, really. I mean, the chariot says you're going off and finding a new place to belong. And I think that this is also kind of saying that you are heading off in a direction to belong to something new. But it uh, looks really good, Gemini. I like it. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.